Introducing Cell One's new share plans, perfect for families and friends. For only $89, two people share unlimited in-network calling, unlimited BlackBerry social, and a bunch of anytime minutes and text messages. Plus, you can add your boy or anyone else for only $9. Cell One, the power of more. Hello and welcome to News Bite, the Bermuda Sun's weekly news wrap-up for Thursday, November 10, brought to you in association with Cell One. I'm Michaela Pearman. Our top stories. In the courts, outrage has been expressed at convicted murderer Jermaine Pearman having his eligibility for parole slashed by four years on appeal. The 37-year-old killed girlfriend Shakia DeRosa on July 10, 2009. He stabbed the 23-year-old in the heart and slit her throat. Pearman was given a life sentence in January and wouldn't have been eligible for parole for 25 years. This week, the Court of Appeal ruled he will now be eligible for parole after 21 years. Posters on our website and Facebook page made comments like, seems like it pays to murder people in Bermuda, and the judges need to walk in the shoes of the families who have lost a loved one. This is nonsense. Workers at the reefs went on strike this week after three Bermudian maintenance employees were laid off. Housekeeping and maintenance workers downed tools in support of the three men. Six expats were able to keep their jobs in the maintenance department. The three men were offered four weeks pay, but refused it after taking advice from the union. Leukemia patient Malcolm Lewis is in hospital in Boston awaiting a bone marrow transplant. His wife Dornette is organizing a local bone marrow drive in hopes of finding him a match to save his life. Mr. Lewis played football for Social Club and the Bermuda National Team. For more information, email dlewis at logic.bm. There was drama at sea this week as the captain of the Oleander described how he and his crew battled high seas to rescue four sailors. The ship was headed to Bermuda from New Jersey when it came upon a boat in distress. Jack Jerzo said he had to maneuver the ship for 30 minutes to complete the rescue. He said it was unlike any other rescue he has been involved in. The four men were brought to Bermuda safely. Tomorrow is Remembrance Day, which will be celebrated with the annual parade and ceremony. The parade will feature veterans, both men and women, who have fought for Bermuda. Almost 3,000 names are engraved on Bermuda's new war memorial. The ceremony will be held on the cabinet grounds and attended by many dignitaries. News in brief. 33-year-old Erskine Phillips admitted to breaking into his neighbor's house with a taser. He also admitted attacking a man in the house during the June break-in. Two 18-year-old men were arrested after police recovered a loaded gun in Devonshire. An inquest will be held into the death of prisoner Kino Utterbridge, who collapsed and died in October 2009 at Westgate. And tour operators and business owners in St. George's were devastated after bad weather forced another cruise ship to bypass the old town. In sports, former police officer and cyclist Damian Sharp was given a two-year ban from the sport after he admitted using a performance-enhancing drug. Sharp rode for the Bicycle Works team and was found to have EPO in his system when he was randomly tested after a race in July. He waived his right to a hearing and admitted using the drug. Sharp has since left Bermuda and it is believed he has gone back to the UK. Finally, the weather. Tropical storm Sean has caused windy stormy conditions over the past few days. But the good news is, the storm should pass by on Friday morning. Expect a mix of sun and cloud over the weekend with highs in the 70s. This weekend is all about sports. Tonight in the World Rugby Classic, Bermuda will play Montreal Irish at 4.45 p.m. USA will take on Italy at 7.15, and New Zealand will play the Classic Lions at 8.15. Games on Friday begin at 4.30 p.m., with losers and winners of tonight's games playing each other. The finals will take place on Saturday starting at 6.30. And in football, Bermuda will take on Barbados at the National Sports Center on Friday at 3 p.m. Gates open at 1 p.m. That's all for this week. Catch me on Channel 82 over the weekend. For these stories and so much more, visit bermudasun.bm. Newsbyte was brought to you in association with Cell One. See you next Friday. Introducing Cell One's new share plans, perfect for families and friends. For only $89, two people share unlimited in-network calling, unlimited BlackBerry social, and a bunch of anytime minutes and text messages. Plus, you can add your boy or anyone else for only $9. Cell One, the power of more.